And what we must realize is that what we say and how we say it matter. This is our vocabulary, you know, the words that we choose, our tone of voice, you know, how we say it, and the timing of those calls, the timing of, you know, when we say those, you know, say that information. All of these things are extremely important when communicating verbally with others. The next one with written communication, how many of you use email or social media? And my guess is probably nearly all of us. You know, written communication has become increasingly more important. And even in these times, you know, with COVID-19, you know, how we communicate with our athletes and, and different stakeholders, you know, we're often relying on forms of written communication. And it's certainly, if it's not an area that you've, you've focused at in the past, it's one area that you want to begin to really focus on, you know, moving forward. The next one is body language. You know, how, you know, this, I guess, really is looking at what your facial expressions are, what your hand gestures, just your overall demeanor that you have when you're, you're coaching or leading. And let me ask you this question. Does your body language match what you're saying? Because it's certainly very easy to give mixed signals to your athletes or to your workers. And again, when I talk about these things, I'm not always just referring to this as a coach, but really just as a leader and you're working with others. You know, your body language says a lot about what you're trying to communicate. And it's such an important part to make sure that what you're saying matches the demeanor and your hand gestures and your facial expressions that you have. You know, because remember, they might not always be able to hear you, but they can always see you. 